Welcome guys to a new episode of our podcast, Chine Drivers. Finally, we have a name. Yes. Uh, we choose this name because it means that we help you, we want to help you to drive in the film world. Mm -hmm. And because we like this idea, me and Maria, that he obviously is uh, here with me, uh, decide to, um, to choose this name. Uh, what we are talking about today? Today we'll be talking about an Italian film. Oh, wow, finally an finally Italian Finally an Italian one. film. Uh, after f four episodes, this is the four episodes, yeah. so yes. Um, it's called On My Skin or Sulla Mia Pelle in Italian. I don't have a good Italian pronunciation, so I'm very sorry. Um, and as I said, it's an Italian drama from 2018, directed by Alessio Gremonini, an Italian director. Um, and it's available on Netflix. So it's, ah, by the way, this is very important. Now Sofia will explain a bit more about it, but it's based on a real story that happened pretty recently, I would say. Yeah, the film is based on a true story happened in 2009 behind the most controversial Italian court cases in recent years. And it talks about the last days of Stefano Cucchi, a 31-year-old uh, guy victim of police brutality. And Stefano Cucchi was arrested uh, for a minor crime, but during his detention, his family's life changed forever and not in the way that they hoped that it would change. Um, and in the end, the film tells us that Stefano Cucchi was the 148th person uh, to die in prison in um, 2009. Uh, but the total number of deaths that uh, year was 172. That's, that's so a lot. An, an impressive number. Yeah, yeah. It's very scary. Uh, when the film was recorded, the trial uh, hadn't ended, but in 2020, so after 10 years, a lot of time, the judge uh, uh, sentenced the two military policemen to 12 years in prison and moreover in the case were accused other military police and doctors so maria do you want to tell us something more about the topics of the film yes so this film explores various topics uh, i think the main one is the injustice of the justice system um, and also of the institution of the military and the police because um, Basically, the people that did what they did to to Stefano were uh, Carabinieri. Is Carabinieri the name? Yes, Carabinieri. Which is a type of military police, which I didn't know. Sophia explained to me. And uh, it talks, of, of course, about police brutality and uh, how all of this affected uh, the the main character, Stefano, and also his family. Another thing, another topic is how they manage people in prison. Yeah, because. In, the, in that case, we cannot say that is a rehabilitation. Oh, no, no. It's no. only violence. I and I don't think that's mm -hmm. the, a good way to no. help people to find again a new life. Exactly. Uh, and to be a better person. Mm. Because we all can make mistakes. Exactly. And so even the person that are in prison can have done mistakes because mm -hmm. we are human. So I don't think violence is no, no, the no, no, correct no. way to help this person and to mm -hmm. help them to go inside again the community and the society yeah and also like at least how, how we were talking about it and how we felt is that once you get arrested even with this that for him it was a minor um, crime yeah related to possession of drugs they it seems like when people sometimes when they arrest people they stop treating them as, as human beings yeah and it was very, very, um, it made me feel very sad and very anxious to see all of it. We'll talk about our, op our opinions uh, in a while. Um, so, actually not in a while, now. <laughs> so now. what did you think about the, the film? I appreciated the film a lot. And the main actor, Alessandro Borghesi, was amazing, in my opinion. He interpreted Stefano Cucchi perfectly. 
And a curiosity, I want to tell you a curiosity, Borghi, the, the, the main actor, lost more or less 20 kilos for the film. Yeah. So a lot of it was impossible to recognize him. Sofia showed me pictures of him, like he's a, uh, you know, his normal, um, like stayed, uh, and he doesn't look uh, anything. Not only because of the kilo that he lost, but also like the look that uh, he had, yeah, like he cut the hair, the, the beard. beard as well, completely different. And um, I have to totally agree with Sofia on this one. Uh, like I have to praise the amazing acting because I don't know I, th I feel like uh, he portrayed it in a very uh, deep and emotional way and um, actually later at, at the end of the film they play some uh, audio from the actual yeah from the real trial from the real trial and the voice was for me, that how he spoke was very, very similar, and I, yeah, I was very uh, surprised. I didn't tell you, but uh, Alessandro Borghi also changed uh, his voice uh, to for the film. It was very, very impressive the way he he acted in the film. I didn't know this actor, but oh, sorry, I hit the microphone again. Maybe with the mask. I don't know if someone of you guys watched Subura. But Alexandro mm. Borghese is a True. character in Subura. Very that good. is a TV series. Mm -hmm. He's a very good actor, in my opinion. I have only watched the, watched him in this one, but yeah, I, I think, I'm very impressed. I think uh, Sulla Mia Pelle is one of his best mm -hmm. uh, uh, film. And the film that was uh, presented during the 75th Venice International Film Festival. I want to tell you guys that it's very brutal and even if it, it is. Uh, shows no physical violence but you can understand perfectly what happened very... Yeah, like the violence, not only because it's true, it doesn't show any anyone hitting anyone but you can see the signs, the physical signs of violence and also you can feel the institutional violence uh, that the main character is going through which is I think like the most shocking um... yeah imagine that even if I know I knew the story uh, but only thanks to the film I put myself in the Stefano Kukis family's mm -hmm. shoes yeah so for me the film is very engaging and emotional and the last thing that I want to say is that the film uh, demonstrates how our um, cosines consciences mm -hmm. can be asleep and you can see it very well when even those who seem to pity the skinny and helpless man turn their head to the other's uh, way so in the end Stefano has become an object and as you mm -hmm. told before it was no more uh, a human yeah and that in my opinion is the saddest part uh, yeah it was of the was of this story yeah um I for me, I felt, I think it makes you feel powerless, especially if you know the story beforehand. I knew it because Sofia had told me about it and I knew what was going to happen. So all that time I felt like very sad for him, very anxious um, and extremely powerless because you know what was going to happen and you know that this is actually something that has happened. And, um, and not only to him, but to many other people in uh, you know jail facilities and stuff so it, i don't know it, i feel like uh, the way it was directed was very good it doesn't have much dialogue i would i wouldn't say um but even with that the, um, it makes you feel a lot of things and um and understand a lot of things even if they're not talking all the time and i think that that also helps to create a lot of tension and um yeah, I don't know. I really like the direction and the the actor, especially uh, the main actor. I think they were all very, very impressive. And uh, yeah, in general, it makes you get close to the characters, to the, and also to empathize a lot with them, with him, with Stefano, and also with his family, because they also had a very hard time. I don't know if I knew uh, the the story for all the film. I hope that. That is same. something uh, better uh, would, would happen, yeah, that yeah. he would change, even if we know that that didn't happen. So I think that that's why you feel powerless, because uh, you want yeah, exactly. something to change, but it, it's, not, it's not happening. 
So we want to recommend this film uh, a lot because it's mm -hmm. even if it's very brutal and dramatic film, yeah. we want to recommend you this film. I uh, want to remind you that the film is available on Netflix. Yes. And so I think for today it's uh, everything. Mm -hmm. But stay tuned for the next uh, episode and a new film. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>